All right, here we go. Hello and welcome. It's your coach. Um, today, Buffett, we want to cover a model canvas. Um, I want to spice things up with a little bit of Zulu. And as per the usual, we start with some shout outs. I want to give a huge shout out to these guys, Bazbiza, Litsibala um, Butaki. I hope I didn't butcher that name. Um, guys just specialize with selling at festivals. Um, they asked me about a model canvas and I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm always ready to get going with that, you know. I also just wanted to give a shout out to the YID guys, part of the TechnoServe product. Um, the guys are doing electronics. Um, nice, nice group. I, I had a, a little chat with them uh, a little earlier and now they'll be going through a model canvas. So I, I want to get into that. But just a little bit about myself. So my friends call me coach. Um, you can do the same. Uh, some even call me the coach of coaches. Um, your coach is coach, you know. Uh, I use NLP and metaphysics to train uh, people in marginalized communities on how to run their businesses. But it's a, it's a lovely work of passion. Um, and this is how I do it. So we registered in 2012, we registered I'm a companies. I, I won't be Y7 at the time, but I5, you know, and we use them as our mobile classrooms. Basically, you know, we, we invite you into a business and exist. We're trying to innovate the way that we teach business so that it's less theory and it's more practical. And that's how we make our money as well. So you get to manage one of our companies. But today, yes, Langan is my model canvas, Buffett. Um, the model canvas, I'm sure some of you are already familiar with it. Um, those of you that are not, just follow along the conversation. But basically, it's breaking down e business lako into nine key parts. Um, we know we take dollar be clearly kulumiwa into your business plan, but we are at a stage where we are far beyond is into the business plan. This is a better way of articulating a business lako. I'm on way back in that. Also, I want to shout out on this call. Um, there's a couple that I met not so long ago. I think it was around March. We were doing some trainings as a pitching for funding for ECDA, a small business development, NESIFA. And we're out at Bigville, and I met this couple, them kisses. Uh, I don't know, I was just impressed with them uh, working together. I always like to see our um, couples working together. And we're doing model canvas even with them. Uh, I hope this reaches them some type of way. Um, you know, just a shout out to them, uh, you know. So I got to thinking after meeting them and after meeting these guys, Be Belokuza, well, Uriki from Elitzibala Butaki, Stockfell, I got to thinking, would maybe I should do a quick recording just explaining the model canvas and maybe get the guys that want to work with me to send me their model canvas. It, it will really help. I won't go in too deep with this model canvas in terms of the strategic side if you are using it for strategy for your business. I just want to explain it in the simplest terms possible. Yeah, bon. Just with this one son, um, and also it's, it's, you know, the thing has nine parts to it. So most of the time I want to buy a struggle with where do I start? Where do I begin? Um, we'll just start in a local because most people start in a customer segments, you know. So you want to just, if you are using this as a video, maybe pause and start thinking about the customer segments. And there are only two or three questions I'm from which was on. For instance, for whom are you creating a value? You know, if you are sitting doing your strategy, just start to jot down with who is your target market. Is it a niche market? Is it a mass market? Who are the most important customers to you? You know, you're just noting about this thing. I think everything kind of stems from who are you doing it for in the first place? Because then who's determine what we understand and my channels now we will get to those. But customer segment, then we have a value proposition. Now, a value proposition, Buffett, is just a basically quick way of saying, yin when the winds are different, yin i value oil tayo to the market, yin i value oil tayo um, to our customers' work. So what you are really asking yourself is, what value do you deliver to our customers' work? Again, I'm going to too many questions and talk strategy. Oh, man, you're just noting for me. I just want to know where your company is. Then, guess is Okuluman are using this same document as a strategic document. Must conceptualize a lot less of strategize. But for now, what makes you unique? What makes you different? You know, but Ninga Banya Bandu, like you guys any in the arts, um, I know Ricky is knitting Ama Amaches like a corner. Uh, so you might be wondering to yourself, 
uthi vele what would make a person asuke adlule abanye abantu nabo abathungayo azothuza my one and basically that's what i'm i'm asking you to really note down for yourself sometimes it takes ubiyo lubuza e customer lakho kwabuza ma customer ukuba fethu nizo zenthenge kimi what did you see in me you know which customers um needs are you satisfying so uyababuza nje kahle uthi vele usatisfyiwe yini mangabe sithengisela what you are trying to do is to make sure what you you keep strengthening into yenzayo and you keep impact, impacting into everyone then you can deal with other channels ba fethu feel free to pause i don't mean ukhuluma too fast ngiyazama ukuthi ngabe too fast um but if you feel good i'm talking too fast unga pause kancane bese uzicabangele kahle these things abanga ngama channels so what are we talking about masikhumba ngama channels is booze when what it through which channels is it best to reach our customers work so for somebody else maybe i'm at i mean my customers um, are online so i use mainly online tools to reach my customers omunye angathi i pamphlet ngathi liyang sibanela whatever it is just note for me ukuthi wena how do you reach our customers work you know how are you reaching them ukusho uthi uyawazi ama customers wakho because you would understand your market you would understand ukuthi abantu bakho batholakala kuphi ama behaviors wabo akanjani and that speaks to us here once sesiqala sikhulume indaba zama behaviors sikumele sikhulume nga customer relationship i relationship elinjani when you create high with your customers you know u build a anjani ama relationship with your customers abanye bathi no customer lama ama once off abantu abafika yona mhlanje bayathenga exchange quick quick isiqedile abanye bathi no 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 i keep a list of patrons umuntu obuyayo again and again abanye bathi ama subscriptions sezophuma kuweke ukuthi when you build a relationship anjani and this speaks to your customers expectations as well yeah, when, because if you are asking some customers wakho then you will know ukuthi by expecting you when by expect kanjani you understand Of course then mele sikhulume nga some key activities senza and like hi what key activities do we do you know um just note for me ukuthi what is really key we are told ukuthi company there's a lot of things that we do let's say like si hire a bookkeeper ukuthi lenze incwadi zethu but that's not what we do as a company so I mean I'm talking about your core function your core business wenzani as a business you know this is ukucabangisa kahle ama problems that you are solving for a customer lakho So masikhulume ngama activities owenzayo aba specific to ama problems ozama ukwa solve for a customer lakho bafethu ngiyadlula la Then ngiye uzozama ukunothela na some key resources imaphi ama resources wena ofile ukuthi company lakho liyawadinga if ukuthi mhlambi company lesa yoqala or company lakho linawo if you feel good you've been trading for a while already you must speak about ama resources wakho it's very important ukuthi ushuthu njoba sesikhulumele ukuthi okay na value proposition engenzayo naba abantu engiba servicesayo ngiba reach kanje naba ama channels wami build ama relationship so You must also say what we use are you know my tools work where about think physical resources think human resources financial resources even intellectual etc you know you have many resources within a company but you must tell us what are your key resources when kona abantu abazothi yo my business doesn't function without aband so it's very heavy on human resource kona abantu abathi i don't really need people into zamze exist online man is pushing you know but i need more we are dependent with every business so note for your business ukuthi when business lakho lidingana and then of course uzonkhulumela nga some key partnerships having noted zonke lezinto esizinothile obana ama customer wethu so reach kanjani what's our value proposition kumele sisho lo sisifana nabo bami who are our key partners and ukumbula ukuthi masikhuluma nga key partners asikhulumi nga only abantu abasayini contract like hi but we are also talking about your key suppliers that's a relationship really strong i mean somebody for an example could put in under key partners u landlord wam you know because for me to operate i need to rent out some space so the landlord becomes a key partner in my business now is determinable what are your key partnerships with the business like only run strongly and then of course kuna cost structure what are your costs what are the most important costs with business like it's very important ke masa sifike kule party bafethu ukuthi sibe as clear as we humanly can i need to ask with in business sishaya nga both fixed expenses and variable expenses So we are to use a plan a rate in the yakhe business lakho libe strong. Masi the business lilimele liwile. Usually kusuke kulimale e cash flow. And how does the cash flow ilimala? Ilimala because you did not balance kahle what comes in with what goes out. The simple formula ya lonke business is income minus expenses equals to profit or loss. So now ekumele ke uzibonele lapho ukuthi ume kanjani for the business lakho you understand you must know your fixed expenses ukhona ukwaplanela kahle yazi ukuthi manje ndingine rent ngenani those are fixed things 
but there's also these variable expenses in lastly mala khona kakhulu ke kuma variable expenses bafethu ila washintsha shintsha hayi boma data boma petrol boma airtime yabona la we swa user as and when we need izi zinto ezilimazi cash flow lezo izi zinto ezwisa ma businesses wethu so be very clear kuma costs wakho also keep in mind which costs are once off which ones are recurring yabona because our fund nama costs kuma businesses wethu khona lawa mangisa wethenga ngiqali be car okay ngizo ithenga kayi one ovina ngiyithengi every month ngiyithenga kayi one siyishayile then ke kukhona lawa a ongoing i renting ibadala every month into thima ibe kanjalo so please just make sure you've noted and was kahle wonke ama costs wakho then we can get into revenue streams I always encourage with ngo 2020 we have let's have more than one income stream. So ne business lakho be very clear when ukuthi what value are your customers really paying for. So yini kahle kahle wayebhadelelayo what brings in the money. Yini e most important as you offer our customers wethu. But don't just stop there. Zibuze what else can we charge for? Iyo le ntengi show ukuthi we must have other income streams. So you may find a guy there's a guy in Bengam culture. This guy he runs a a piggery farm. But he makes a lot of money selling umcham while I'm a pigs, you know, the 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 uranium a pigs. Apparently, they use that for other things. Abayaban do like things like manyo and things like. I think he even said perfumes when when we did this exercise. But just check what you need any that you can charge for. I will not. I I know you guys most of you like ni ni a tunga and stuff. I will not look value last material on the island and size business. Maybe you could use it for something else. So always look at what other income streams can I squeeze out of my business. How much does each revenue stream contribute to the overall game? Yeah, quite a revenue. Yeah, you know, because if it's by now my income streams are money, I would want to know from you. Okay, okay. Learn how you contribute what in percentage. Learn how you contribute what in percentage. Just to put things into perspective, since the animal says strategize a lot, because this was prioritized, because this was not prioritized. That's just the nature of business. All right, but that's just about it for the model canvas in the main overview. Yeah. So what I want to do, Ugnipa, some tips. What I want to do is to also look at how do some of these things link with one another, and I'll explain why is kulumanga my links. But for now, ngoloi pege lenda ba, and just answer some of these questions for yourself when you're doing your model canvas. It's gonna be too heavy on the on the strategic side of it, but I want you to just note these things for me so that you are able to articulate them correctly. I want. Now let's get into just a little bit of our tips. It's important to note with all those nine parts the link to be fit. So as the last tip and lens, I'll do it in the next slide. And so cool man, what is the link? And I'll explain what I mean by links because I don't think most people buy these are links. But yeah, just for yourself, your advisor do it. It's beneficial. When they show good man, when they send their journalists, try to involve other people, especially about to span an hour. Why you are doing that? It gives them a sense of connection with the strategic direction of the company. So, for some of you guys, manga beni tuunga, you'll find that you have two two employees or maybe one employee or two and I try to involve them because it will give them that sense of yeah, now I'm part of a strategic direction. I added on to what we are doing now. But also secondarily, it just helps you to get better output because you get more data. Two heads have always been better than one, buffet. So, we as now with manga begu ganji, ukoni lugianza no moon to ride in. You draw from them as well. Ngaba nezi nto mshambo wende that you are not seeing, but this person can be able to see and then help you along. Now, another tip in your insight just about doing is try to blow this thing up and make it to a poster size. Maso uye nzile gashe yon ki model canvas lako. Maybe put it up somewhere in your office, everyone, because this is a very beautiful strategic document. It's of note that I didn't to always reason out with Zime Vaba Fetu. Abuba Nessis Panana, but our value proposition, the Agnet that I didn't. So you could do it maybe as an A2 or as an A1 or something of that sort. In fact, you know what? This is a homework. And a good homework in the Kalu to end the poster as one of his into the homework. Just to help your mindset about the model canvas, it helps you to see what is divided into four main categories. So, model canvas for all these nine parts. But now that first part, what you find is, and I've shaded it with a different color for you, you find what it deals mostly with the infrastructure. This is how you are going to do a thing. Ikuluma to your internal analysis of your business. And then that second part, this is your value proposition. So ikulumanga what you are offering. Ihuati ya kolena ebon. And then you have the third part. Ikulumanga ma customer wako. This is for whom you are doing what you are doing. It's more of an external kind of an analysis. Again, we're just setting a mindset here to go to Ibe straight. Of course, the last bits as at the bottom, Zitila with 
the financial side of his into a finance is how much is everything costing you. I'm giving you just this mentality so that Manga Besawians model canvas yako, you see them right kind of mindset for it. We are positioning a mindset yako for it properly. When we won't do so it's in stages, And these are the categories. But I want to what I want to do is to go on to the next slide and talk to you about links. And what do I mean by links? I don't think if, in fact, I don't think other people will call it AMA links. I don't know what would be the name for this thing. But let me paint you this picture so that you understand why I had to include this kind of information. Mao Shelly with um, a, a, an investor, for instance, and you are pitching a business lab. If, if investor might not be in your same line of business, so you'll find what you are pitching to someone who doesn't run a bakery, but when you are pitching a bakery business. So how they think about business, they see it in totality. They see it as a, a, the bigger picture. So they see on how things are tied in together and how they link. So for instance, Mang Kuluma now in Selimina as an investor, you are pitching. We are saying nothing about it, Rendiaku. I have to then assume what are uh, why aren't you mentioning premises? I understand. So you must be able to link Izindozako so that we see what, oh, this is connected to that. That helps you to tell a better story when you are presenting a business lab. Okay, let's see some of these links. Maybe it will make better sense. Now, obviously, everything will be linked to your value proposition. But itself, a value proposition, Maui Begile, Yatan, which connects a cool with your customer relationships and your customer segment. Our to value Kulumanga, this is the value that we offer, but you're not saying who you are offering it to. So, Gmele Nanuma, so he ends a presentation your business lack will be able to link stories across a value proposition with our customers' work. You must be able to link stories across a value proposition with your key resources. You must be able to link stories a value proposition with your cost structure. The reason why I offer a range of belief which is different is because in seven days, our resources are so and so and so. The reason why I say a range value proposition here to is cost a range. The reason why I'm a cost way to a range is because of our value proposition. So the things must be able to tie in and make one story. So that one business does not is a huge and a Z9. Z different. As we are talking about two different businesses. As you've already noted with our key partners, there's a strong link between value proposition. Obviously, abandoning is banana, but there's a link there with the value proposition. And he look with the key relationships as well, value proposition. Key activities, value proposition. So somehow when a we present in the bio, we present in such a way that you tie them in together, bunga something that you are answering a test or something, but will be one story that is combined. I hope you understand it. So for your key activities, what you want to make sure obviously is that you speak to the value proposition. Isn't this is enza like higher A, B, C, and D because we offer that value proposition. Then in Doyako ties in together. One quick story is slang and I. Resources, same thing. Melabu yele dagu value proposition and ngmele naganja na a link to ama key activities with. I have these resources or I need these resources because I impact these um, these key activities. Also, link ama key activities work with your value proposition. Besses ikulu milele. Ngamu kulu menange customer segment yako, melu azut customer segment, ilzo hambelana na key activities, ilzo hambelana na value proposition. I, I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm trying to help you tell a more combined kind of a story about prioritize agathama markets work if you have more than one field that you are trading in so some of us will find good you know i'm saying no um nirani construction but i also do some stuff on the side that is construction related prioritizer i'm a field worker so that there's proper links in what you are telling me monthly as an investor because my kuluma is just separate things and tonight was wait are you still talking about that same business about kuluma so there must be some something that ties in ama markets work Obviously, the business community value proposition is key, key partners way to and key activities. I'm, study, I'm hoping you're starting to see for yourself how these things are linked together, you know. Linker already, our channels work with customer relationships, customer segment, and of course, some value proposition. So if you are telling me, oh, you know, I'm getting my people um, through Facebook. It must link to because this is the value proposition that I have for them. It must link to because these are my types of customers and these are the relationships I have with my customers. So it will not be just in isolation. No, Facebook, you know, because sometimes it sends on a point form with them. It's fine to do it in point form. But when you are trying to present your business, when you are pitching your business, linker is in Dozako in such a way that they talk to each other. You understand? And then, of course, key resources, Naso versus is Balile. When I go on to cost structure, cost structure of it is very important. 
almost everything if if you link it to value proposition then naganjani is a link to cost structure as well you must allow it to link to cost structure so that when you speak about your costs always you come out yeah also we rent a bag for what like what's the value proposition because tina we deliver to our customers oh the value proposition is that you deliver so that's why okay then zia linga isn't ozako that's what i'm talking about i'm talking about when you are presenting your business obviously revenue streams are also tight linked to value proposition i charge this much because na i value any edai i charge this much because na li market any service your customer segment I hope you understand the leading yama links. I don't want to go too deep on ayo, but it's just a way of helping you tie in all these things so that they tell one story for you. Na fetu ngin promise homework here. But this of figure we using aga figure we on class recap very quickly. I'm gonna go through the nine elements. One, so take a customer segment and feel free to follow this line of Ilokuza now. You can start with customer segment, no problem. And there you are basically just discussing who are my customers. What do they think, see, feel, and do? And then there's a cool manga value proposition, Yako. And it also you are talking about what's compelling about my value proposition. What makes you different? About why my customers should they buy from you? Why should they use your services? So cool manga my channels, Yako. How are these propositions promoted? You know, um, how do you sell? How do you deliver? Is it working for you? And when they tell me about customer relationships, how do you interact with my customers, Yako? Through the chain, good by ten now. Think of your process plan when you are talking about customer relationship. Process like what is panaranja with our customers work. You want to touch on your revenue stream. How does the business earn its revenues? We end zaranja niyogo from your value proposition. Your key activities. Yee ni egwenza unique when strategically speaking. Does the business do? Uh, what does the business do to deliver its proposition? So those are the activities as well as in our businesses, Buffett. Key resources. Again, we are just recapping. You've already seen these things. What's that unique strategic assets as user? Because Konama resources are very particular to a certain business. In fact, some businesses are based on Tinasinale Tulusi Abanyabandu Abanginale. So it speaks to our value proposition. But we are talking about our resources. And again, remember when you are here, we are not just talking about tools, but we are talking about human resource. We are talking about intellect. We are talking about financial resource. Ima Konama resources work. Ima partnerships work. What can the company not do? So it can focus on its key activities. So partnerships Why do you work with these people? How does it impact on your value proposition? Cost structuring is the last one. What are the business's major cost drivers? How are they linked to revenue? Yako? Again, this is just a summary of it to help you understand what you are answering for yourself. If in Fauzang we enter into the boxes, but you want to submit it to me so that we can have get our coaching session. Number one, customer segment. Pa, 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 pa. Number two, value proposition. Go, 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 go. We are born. So you don't even need to be extra formal about it. Mina, I just need to see your, your look with your model canvas because if I'm gonna help you and coach your business, I need to understand your business. So I need to just be on the same page. So you are doing this for me just to get me on the same same page we'll talk about it as a strategy much later on once we've started the coaching bit dala mu promise ayona i homework kuzo mele homework ibe kona bafit i know some of you nya isabi homework you know when we're traveling around slibele skelezi sa ifani nchad litres we went to the northwest and some kids there we bang nickname ilo bang bizuma homework amaz wa ibe nsuga le bang bizuma homework but i love homework mina bafit i got into the game because mfunuku pawe ni homework i'm just kidding Look, your homework is more than just lendo bushalu itole scale. You go go isabi homework. Your homework is you doing your homework about your business, knowing the right move at the right time. That's homework for me. About a husband bringing the right flowers for a wife. Yeah, that's homework. So na majuma ngo zese homework. Unga kabangu tili yasa scale. Tili zese gazo rana behind you with a belt. Why didn't you do your homework? You understand? No, I'm I'm not like that. I'm not that guy. Zote niya kichimisa with a belt. Can be strong. Abu na musu yang overpower. Musu yang shy. Asen se spelle. Asen na ma poise. Asen me leng explain who started the fight. It turns out he meant the fight and I'm losing the fight. No, I'm not going to complicate it like that. I will not be asking you for this homework back. When you do your homework, you are doing it for you. I finally as a scale. You are zenze like this. If you don't do your homework, results will show in your bank account. I will not to tell you the homework was not that well. So let's go. Number one. I'd like for you to imagine as if you're a picture a business like to an investor of it. So as a model canvas or update the exist already. And then as an audio. 
in the form of a business pitch. I'm trying to help you with my soft and pitch business level. Then you can send it to me as a business coach. Then Zogupa some pointers, you'll have a thinking partner. If but you can't hustle in isolation, I span eleven. So please just try to put together model canvas, record an audio as if it's a business pitch, summarizing your canvas in an audio. Now you go so audio yako. So this is what you say about your business. It will help you to reflect on your business. Number two, your home I promised you this already. Please print a poster size your business model canvas lab. The num tatelis tombe na leshandis. Just, it's a way for you to, to really maximize what you're trying to do. Singa kotla wa fetut, we can learn all we like, but this on gena ngayi ipo me ngada adayden. If you don't apply it, you have to practice, you have to apply in doi kelezile. Then you'll really own the information. But if you are just listening to me, ah, then it's just a story some guy said, ange gengu chase around, minang libe ngfuna nane homework. But if you are doing it, you are doing it for yourself, you understand? Number three, ngalu ipegele model canvas yako, let it communicate with you, Gangane. I'm asking you two things. Why are you successful according to Imagel Canvas Lab? So if you Padela, even if you're a voice note or young Padela on WhatsApp, it doesn't matter how you reach me. Just tell me where Namaso we beg again model canvas yako. Iti in a wool. Iti why are you successful? And also, what can be improved? What could you do better? What could you do more of Ugutisibe more successfully? Peggy model canvas lako. Agnet Ugutislang and all these documents. Jadu Samu Kuluma no Banba no Basfuni Yugi Aki Sama. Let investors Sama in. Let it talk to you first before you Kuluma no Monument. So very quickly, you are recording an audio for me. You are taking a picture for me. And you are telling me why, according to model canvas lako, when Uzoba successful. And you are telling me what you know I improve our model canvas lab. That's it. That's all that I'm asking for. It's not too much to ask for, Buffett. Let's put these things into practice. As I said, I'd like to thank you. Um, eating Ibambedaso. Thank you so much for tuning in, for staying until the end. It's a lovely work of patient entrepreneurship. Buffett was push on. Let's get out there. Let's practice. Let's take some action on it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Chela naba anyimfetu. Coaches around here. I'm willing to help your business. Let's see how we can work together to build that business. Sikulisindoze tubafetu. Nengane zetu zlambi lendi. Nezislindi. Let's do what we gotta do.